Magita, magita, sata! Hello everyone, Edo here. And Sue Yoi. And we're... Wait, are we? Yeah, we're... Sure the mic's fine there? Yes. Mike is perfectly fine there. Alright. And we're back. A Gundam tell. Oh my, I love how this is here. Oh, look how stupid it looks. It's amazing, it's glorious, it's fantastical. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a suit only I would drive. No one else would make their mecha this terrible looking yet amazing. It is both glorious and terrifying. <laughs> I see. So then, we're off collecting a whole bunch of extra stuff before continuing on with the dungeon and the main story of the game. Right. You've made some changes to your allies. Yes, That's I have. not bother showing that off. Yes, yeah, not right now, anyway. Okay. So, well, except uh, for one that will be very obvious. Anyways, uh, yes, uh, you guessed correctly where you were going. Yes, it's been a while, but I remembered. <laughs> Finally finished this out. Oh, and like, uh, now we can do something we uh, didn't think to do in the past. Hmm. Look at the map. Huh. Huh. I see. Perfect. Right, so, you know, just go to the obvious next room that you can only get to with the right key card. Okay, let's just... Be... Invisible. So I don't have to deal with any of this crap. Mm -hmm. Until the crap becomes too much for me to not deal with. When I'm <laughs> fighting giant neo <laughs> Yeah, okay. This isn't how the world's supposed to work. neo Youngs wouldn't even fit in this damned ship, probably. <laughs> They're probably bigger than the ship. Oh, that one. They might be. You've seen a Neo Zeong, right? Or at least the action figure, the Figma figure. Like, uh, isn't the Gunpla. Zeong the uh, the mobile suit with uh, just a skirt, no legs, a simple head, and uh, arms that uh, stretch out on cables? That is the Zeong, yes. I said Neo Zeong. So, not perfect Xeon, Neo Xeon. Yeah, it's like huge red uh, Xeon. Like some other ship docks inside it. Like a whole other mobile suit docks inside of it. Huh. Then, no, I haven't seen it. It's amazing. It's a thing of legend. It's a beast of legend. Use card key L5. Door. The door opens! The, the open door! Mm -hmm. Presto Chango. Grab. Grabbing it. We'll grab everything I can. 10,000 CT. Restore to drink SP. Invisible is expired. Remove the protection. Mobile suit parts. Drill claw R. Are you shitting me? No, it's a right arm, so... Like, uh, it's probably not going to be all that useful. <laughs> That's the shooting arm, isn't it? Yeah. Beam knife? Uh-huh. Mobility Oh, yeah, check out the beam knife real quick. Uh, let me just open all these. And charger... Repair unit SP. These sound really good. Active cannon. Okay. Beam knife. Uh, let's just take a look at the beam knife. Beam knife, beam knife, beam knife. It's gonna be up here, isn't it? Huh. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> the damage, though! I mean, for something so small! That's 300? 200. Still. More powerful than a Zeta Gundam Saber is the beam knife. <laughs> the hell's with the beam knife, dude? Huh. So tiny, but it's so good. <laughs> and then I just give it to Ono. It's like, yo, behold, the only weapon I will ever wield. It's like essentially a toothpick. This toothpick will destroy your soul. It's that powerful. Oh. Okay, I was just imagining from um, uh, Evangelion to where uh, Unit 2 like uh, pulls out this handle and just like epically just like uh, shows it. Oh, it's a switchblade. The knife just kind of slides out. Here, have, have it, Bazzoli. No, have this <laughs> big, burly, muscular man. Teeny tiny knife. Pretty good knife. 
Shortened yet powerful beam. Oh, it's basically a beam saber that was just shortened. Mm-hmm. Neat. Why don't they just do that with all beam sabers? Mm -hmm. Except, oh, I mean, I guess long range does help, obviously. Mm hmm They probably didn't have the technology to, uh, compact and compress it. So, oh. you remember all the other stuff you picked up? Active cannon. Gotta look at that active cannon. Active cannon, active... Uh, shoulder, shoulder. Huh. Small, easy-to-use shoulder cannons. 215. Small, but For small. one energy. Yeah, it is really good. It's not. It's it's no hyper cannon though. Yeah, no hyper cannon. Four twenty, man. Oh, but look at these. Uh, but you're not a shooter anyway. Let's give it to someone who is a shooter. Like uh, actually, hmm, where's uh your shoulder guns? Oh, oh it seems usable. Almost seems usable. I'm sure if I finagle hard enough. Uh, no. No, I don't think this is gonna happen. Hmm. Huh. Though, I mean, these are basically... Actually, you know what? I think I know what I'm doing here. I mean, that was 200. It was already basically weaker than what I, these shoulder cannons were. So if I can just find something that'll fit on the bottom there. Like this beam pistol. Or this... Ah, uh, shoot. Ah! Uh, beam pistol? Okay, this is... This is good. Well, honestly, I mean... Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I can't spend all day here. Eh. Right. And as for the other stuff you picked up? The normal items. Like the mobility upgrade kit. And the restorative drink SP. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about them? Oh, wait, is there more? That's it? That's the whole place. We're done. Yes, you're done with this ship. That's sad. I was expecting something like a guy who's like, oh, you know, for thousands of years I have slumbered in this ship. Now I who has disturbed my slumber? But no, none of that, huh? Or at least a mobile suit of some sort. What a jip. Okay. What now? Well, since you've uh, gathered your new gear and have used what you felt you need to use... It's time to go back to Mount Trial. No! No! <laughs> Not there! <laughs> Where's Mount Trial again? It's been so long. It's in Australia, isn't it? Um, no, I think it's... Mexico? Where would I teleport to get close to it? Uh, Diggins Rock, and then you would just fly straight down. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna go sleep at Diggins Rock. Why? Store my TP. Oh, okay. Because I have been invisibling and, you know, teleporting. Okay, very well. So, it's been a while since I've been here. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay. So, now that we're back and uh, on track and all that stuff. Yes, we're back on the track. Right. Uh, well, I have a bit of updating to do. Microsoft going through some updates. Hmm. Right. So, I believe that uh, last time of uh, the episode, like, I was talking about, like, you know, my devil fruit and what I would like it to be. And, uh, but uh, you brought up how there's someone that already has something similar to that. Something similar. Right. Did you but, ever look into him? Yeah, I did. Basil Hawkins. Yeah, they, um... Uh, it's still unknown what his devil fruit is. Yeah, my brother actually pointed that out when I brought this up to him. He's like, actually, you know, it actually, I'm like, wait, it was already called the Voodoo Voodoo Fruit? He's like, actually, it was never really given a name. <laughs> I'm like, wait, it's been this long since they've introduced him. And they still don't got a name for that fruit. How the hell did this happen, Oda? Seriously. Hmm. There's actually several characters that are like that, apparently. I'm going to save on eight. Okay. Really? Yes. But, hmm. uh, you know, that's not the subject of right. the, the situation. So, 
When I realized that there was already someone with a voodoo thing going on, I figured I could still make my OC Devil Fruit base around a voodoo-ness. But then when I thought about it for a moment, I thought, you know, this is getting rather complex for what I wanted to do. So I was wondering, is there some way where I can do what I want to do, but make it better, more simpler? And then, after thinking about it for a while, I actually came up with a Devil Fruit power that I feel would only be possible in one piece. Well, that's probably true given that it's a devil fruit. <laughs> so, I mean. Like, I like the power that I came up with, I don't see being a superpower in any other, like, uh, work of media or something like that. Unless it's as out there as, oh, you ate a special fruit that gave you a magical ability, and this is what it is. Say, mushrooms are a vegetable straight up, right? Um, no. They're a fungus. Oh, okay. I was going to say, they count as a fruit all of a sudden because that's how Django got his hypnotism powers. Really? You, you just ate a fungus? Yes. Apparently something happened, he went to sleep for a long period of time, and that thing on his chin is not a beard, it's actually the stalk of a mushroom. It grew on his chin, and he just ate the cap. Huh. And now he's got, invis uh, now he's got hypnotism powers. That's... Horrifying. I know! What the heck? Especially because those reproduce through spores. So, I mean... Um, no, that's not what's horrifying. Like, you know the cap and, like, the stalk for a mushroom is not its true form, right? Oh, it's the mycelium underneath. Yes, and have you ever seen uh, one of those? Yeah. And, what, like, what they look like? So, I could only imagine... What... Django's completely taken over by a mushroom! <laughs> or at least his chin is... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, that Messina must at least be going through his entire body. At the, least. Uh, yeah, at least with the amount of uh, space that my ceiling usually take up. Well, I can't be going anywhere else. He moves around too much. He's not rooted to the ground. I know, it's just that, like, uh, considering how Messina are and, like, uh, the amount of space that they take up and, uh, like, how they grow and stuff like that, I can only imagine it must be spread all throughout that body of his. Just one mushroom. Yes, like, uh... Just one? Oh. Yeah, so you really haven't seen, like, uh, the mycelium of a single mushroom, huh? I have not, not of a single one. Hmm. Yeah, that stuff is, like... Wow. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, mushrooms are actually much bigger than anyone actually realizes. It's just that all they ever see is a surface level, you know, stalk with cap. Oh, and, uh, you're gonna be going north, uh, like, you know, taking that one path that you never took. Huh. I think it's north? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it's, a uh, north. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because we're going up the mountain even more. Yep. And also, I would highly suggest that after you fight uh, the first of the new encounters, you go back and save. Right, of course. But so uh, first, I go uh, all the way to the left. Okay. Since you haven't been here before, there should be a chest. Oh, hey. Am I at the top? Almost. Almost, but not there quite yet. Yeah, Use card key, I'll fight. Oh, I couldn't even get in here until now. Mm-hmm. Wait, what for am I gonna fight? Have I fought four bosses? Oh, God, is this just gonna be three of everything now? Mm. I will hate that so much. Well, you'll see what you're gonna encounter when you encounter it. Uh, I have to fight three or four, right? You'll see. No, I mean, like, uh... Oh, like, how many fights do you have to fight? Yeah. Two. Oh, okay. Oh god, one was gonna be burning Gundams! Two burning Gundams! <laughs> if I. You, if, if, you said something about throwing myself up against it and how many times I'll, I'll this do This ain't it. it. Okay. That, that thing that I was talking about off camera. It's not these? No, it's not these. Oh wow. Yeah. Now, that's something much further Damn. Like, was gonna... uh, in the future. Okay, not that much further in the future, but you're certainly not gonna be fighting that this episode. Yeah, I was gonna throw Fritz out immediately just to show off his semi-new mobile suit. Mm. Screw that! I'm taking this seriously. Mm. Oh, this is not normal music. Ah, uh, it's boss music. This is not the normal boss music. Oh yeah, is this it? is like super serious boss music. This is like when you fought like a dark general serious music. Uh huh? Wait, I've seen these Gundams. I have these Gundams? <laughs> Wait, what is that hand thing you're wielding? Those vice claws? One's yeah. holding a 
thing. You don't recognize those claws? Wait, those are dragon knuckles. Yeah. Oh, you're a punchy puncher tin. You've got a heat shuttle? Yep. No! But he has the super version of it. No! <laughs> then, you know, they're both boss tier. So, uh, hey. what's your strategy going into this? Because I know what mine was when I went into this. Let's see. I see one person with a... Uh, with a I see both with nope levels uh, melee. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I know what... First thing I'm going to do, immediately reduce their attack. I see. You're going to be uh, charging her. Mm. I, I was going to go in and, and uh, you know, uh, punch one really, really hard, but I don't want to get in there melee right now. Mm. In fact, the first thing I kind of want to do is get Oh No ready to uh, counter, counter zone. Right, but they're only going to do text right now. Right. Wait, does, uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't Life Ang also have counter zone? She might. I'm not too sure. There's no way to check from here, is there? Uh, right. You'd have to, like, bring her back in to look. Crap, screw it. Just charge. Yeah. Me, my first priority was to get A on, like, as much energy as possible. So I had her charge. Ah. Because uh, her system crack costs, like, nine energy or so. And, like, you know, for me, that was going to be, like, the most important thing on here. To just, like, uh, system crack the both of them. Well, I mean, I can system... Oh, wow, it's that much, huh? Yeah. Save it. Like, uh, I would highly suggest, like, uh, trying to build up to it. Okay. Okay, but anyways, as I was saying. Great, so I came up with an OC Devil Fruit power. And I felt like, yes, this is great. One of the reasons being because, like, I, this could only be a One Piece power. It might be a power in other works of uh, fiction out there. Counter zone, counter zone, no! No, not Plasma Lancer! I actually dealt almost as much damage with that counter punch as to you doing your super. I'm sorry, are you for real? Are you guys for real? Oh, I can't. Damn, that hits everybody. <laughs> oh, screw you. Well, at least now you can uh, system crack one of them. Like, it's your choice, but me, I would do the one who's uh, about to do a big attack. Okay. Yep. And uh, then it's like how you want to go from there. Like, uh, you could heal Tremmy. could switch her out with uh, someone else to do something. You could have Tremmy use charge on Aeon again. Uh, oh, wait a second. No, she'd go first. Yeah. I'm going to full repair all because I'm afraid of damage. Ah. Hmm. Well, you know, this is a boss fight, so, you know, do uh, fight them with all due seriousness and all that. Yes. I sped up so I could get this off. So, uh -huh. like, uh, uh, just offhand real quickly, are you aware of any series that, like, uh, gives out ridiculous powers like One Piece does? Mmm. I'd say JoJo's. Hey, you got hit with this arrow. Congratulations. Here's the ability to stop time. Ah, yes. Stand powers. Congratulations, you got hit, your stand got hit with an arrow. Here's the ability to, to uh, nullify the effects of anything while keeping the cause. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, right, right, I understand that. It's just a real quote. I still feel this power is One Piece unique because of how, like, the One Piece person would be using it, and it's not a stand that you're controlling to do it with. Hmm, okay. Hmm, but, you know... I'll let you decide, like, uh, once you uh, finally hear what this grand master power of mine is. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Okay. <laughs> right. So then. First, I uh, need to uh, establish something. Do you know what a gachapon is? Gachapon? You mean the little capsule things? Yes. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they're called in the U.S. I grew up with them, and yet I never knew what they were. They're always just like the toy slot machines to me. Those things were like uh, a machine, uh, little uh, capsules, and they'd be like a toy or something in them. They'd be like at the entrances of like stores or something like that. Just put like a quarter in, twist the handle, and like uh, you would get like a toy that would just like uh, pop out inside a capsule. In Japan, those are specifically known as uh, gachapons. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, 
That's uh, what uh, one of the bases of Pokemon was based off of. Really? Yes, you know the Pokeball? Uh -huh. That oh. was based off the concept of a Gachapon. In fact, that's why they're the color that they are. Because if you'll remember Toy Castles here, it was always like a clear top with like a colored bottom or something like that. Hmm. And uh, that's why in Pokemon, it's like a red top with a white bottom. And he said the original Pokeball, because they were based off of gotcha ponds to where you would just pop them open, and they'd be like these two individual colored things. Now I fear whatever the hell the Lancer is doing, because somehow Bazzoli went before them. Huh. Like, you clearly weren't doing... Wait, you're shooting? You got the guy with the Lance and the tw double dragon Vulcans. What the hell were you doing? Mm. You weren't thinking, were you? This is why you think with your brain, not with your, uh, guns. I- look, I purposefully hold myself back. I understand rule of cool. <laughs> okay. So, uh, now that we know what a gachapon is, I want to say that that is what essentially my new devil fruit is. Not bad, not yeah. bad. We've gone away with the, like, uh, voodoos and straw dolls and stuff like that. Now, here's how my Devil Fruit power works. Nice. What it is, is that uh, I will like you know, find an object or something like that, and I'll turn it into a coin. Oh, okay. wow. That's one. And then, uh, depending on the quality of that object is, uh, to like what I want to use it for, it's either going to be a bronze, silver, or gold coin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, uh, can you repeat that first bit? An object. Something about an object? Oh, okay, yeah, fine. Okay, so the, you know, my uh, power actually comes in phases. Okay. Okay. So then, like, uh, first I'll find an object and I'll turn it into a coin. Okay. Okay. Doesn't matter what the object is. Like, whatever it is, I can turn it into a coin. Sweet. Okay. Exactly how I turn it into a coin, I'm not uh, too sure yet. Like, I'm thinking, eh, you know, just uh, reach out and touch it or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the uh, easiest way to turn something into a coin. So, from there, uh, what I do is, like, um, I should use an example. Ah, okay. Let's uh, use an apple. You know, just a normal, like, everyday apple. Good old apple. Everyone loves apples. So, like, uh, because of what I want to do, I would reach out, touch the apple, and it would turn into a gold coin. And on this coin would be the picture of an apple. Okay. Okay. So then, like, on my body... Like, I could, like, I have it just kind of, like, spring out, uh, like, either, like, on my stomach or on my chest. Like, it'd probably be on my belly button or something like that. You know, I'd uh, be able to spring out a handle. You know, those uh, silver... <laughs> what? Okay, I'm just imagining it. <laughs> okay. Like, a silver handle to, like, uh, you would see in uh, gachapon machines. So where you would slot in the coin, and then you would twist the handle. And, like, uh, when you twist the handle... Either like somewhere else, like either like directly above the uh, the handle, or maybe a little below, or heck, maybe even just from my mouth. Yeah! Look at the damage! <laughs> Here it comes! You got your new beam scythe. Look at this—the new Crimson Angel. I've gone edgy. <laughs> I'm so edgy. Yeah! The Reaper comes for you. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Don't hit me, please. <laughs> Dragon the Knuckle! <laughs> well, I started imagining that whenever a pilot is hurt and it's affecting their combat, like, it's an overall 30% reduction in, like, all their combat abilities, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, like, I was figuring, huh, maybe they just got hurt so bad that blood is in their eye. Uh. Like, one of those kind of things. And then I thought, so what happens when they're super hurt? Well, obviously, blood got in both their eyes at that point. Oh, I can't see shit! Well, luckily they have monitors and equipment uh -oh. that still helps them to fight. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, that's... Huh. How did... Uh, huh. I was too... I was very stupid. It's fine. It's fine. He's not that strong. Okay. He's not using a boost, so he's not hitting everybody. Wait, what just happened? Well, you uh, used a healing item on yourself. You're using a boost now. Yeah. You're gonna hit everybody, aren't you? He might. So, defend. 
Fine. I've got lots of health, this is fine. Just keep talking. Okay. So then. So, like, uh, use a couch pie and, like, uh, you know, let's just say from my mouth, just to keep things simplistic. Blah. Like, yeah, I would just, like, block up, like, a really simple gacha pond, or maybe I'll come up with a uh, elegant design or something. But just imagine, like, a normal toy capsule container. Okay. In this toy capsule thing, you would see, like, a black smoke or fog or something like that. So then, you pick up the capsule, you pop it open, and, like, uh, the fog would just kind of, like, uh, roll out of it, and then it would turn into that apple. Ah. Yeah. And then, from that point onward, if I ever wanted that apple again, you would just have to, like, you know, do the twisting motion thing, like, uh, to the handle on my stomach, and I would just keep on plopping out. More like, of uh, Yeah, more of, uh, more of those uh, capsules with that apple inside of them. As long as you have the coin inside you or something? Yes. As long as I have that coin, I'll be able to uh, keep on making more. Now then, because I wanted to make an exact duplicate of the apple, I got a gold coin for that, and that was allowing me to like use it uh, for that. But let's say I wanted to make something related to the apple. Yeah. That would uh, essentially like uh, I don't know applesauce, because uh, you know with applesauce you need like a bowl, a mm. spoon, and like Love the sauce of the stuff like you know actually like. A, Time for your death day. <laughs> this is there's no way in hell you survive this turn. <laughs> yeah, it's like and all that kind of stuff. So like if I got with that intent, I'd have to find an apple, turn it. It would probably be like a silver coin because it still like is a product of the apple more or less. Ah, you know, use that in the gotcha pond. Hey, dragon thing. Huh. Another one. <laughs> and an EN charger. And I'm out of here. <laughs> yes, go save. Yeah. So all you right. know. Use that, and a gachapon, like, uh, would come out. Okay. And when I open it up, the quality of the applesauce is gonna vary quite a bit. Maybe it's good tasting applesauce. Maybe it's bad tasting applesauce. Or maybe it's something that just ain't quite right for one reason or another. <laughs> Why is there an eyeball in my applesauce? <laughs> like, essentially, like, the more related that the object I'm trying to, like, turn it into that it's related to, like, uh, the better the quality and more consistency of the product. But I can still, like, uh, change and manipulate it around to, like, uh, try to get a certain desired result. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh, most basic premise of what this uh, devil fruit is and what it allows me to do. And you know what it turns me into? A gotcha human? A gotcha man. Gotcha man! Ah. Ah. <laughs> yes, I'm quite proud of that myself. Huh. You know, speaking of One Piece, I saw something quite interesting about it uh, today. Well, hang on, I ain't done yet. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, there's more. Yes, there's more. Well, I mean, I, don't... I can't go back up there. Oh, yeah, you can. I don't got time to fight another fight. You have time to run back up there and run up to the next fight. I suppose that's true. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like that's the, uh, I call this fruit the, uh, the gotcha gotcha fruit. Hmm. And it feels like, uh, using this, it would allow me to do everything I wanted to do. Like saying, like, oh, I wanted copies of, like, uh, people and stuff like that. But I figured, well, as long as I get something that's related to them rather directly. Oh, then, then... you can make, like, not perfect copies of them. Hmm. And uh, the only way you'd be able to make perfect copies is if you made, touch them themselves. No. Uh, like, uh, the way I, like, it depends on, like, what I want to do. Like, if I wanted them, them, I would need some, like, and perfect, just, uh, for me to manipulate however I want. It would have to be a gold coin. And gold coin quality is, like, a uh, personal article of clothing of theirs or something like that. Uh, I figure it'd be something that has literally their DNA, like, hair. Oh, well, that's close, too. But, like, I'm not saying you can't just go and grab an, uh, like, let's say if, uh, someone was selling replicas of Luffy's hat. You know, right. I can't just go and buy a replica and all of a sudden I have like, you know, perfect golden coin to make Luffy whenever I want. I would pretty much have to take Luffy's hat itself in order to like uh, pull something like that off. Right. <laughs> right. So I figure, okay, so like, you know, with these special gotcha coins of mine, with my gotcha pawn powers, I can just like, you know, create duplicates, you know, just spawn them out and I can even like transform them to be various things. Like, what, this. <laughs> like one of the things that inspired me was Waffle. 
Mm. Like, remember, uh, I remember you telling me like uh, he was able to like just create toys and stuff as a byproduct of what he does, and like that was kind of like the idea I had here. What if I had a power? Like, don't go into the fight. Okay. Like, what if I had a power that just allowed me to like create figurines of characters and stuff like that? I could sell it, make more money, mm -hmm. uh, and like, uh, yeah. But I'd be like, oh, but its true purpose is to allow me to create actual duplicates or something like that. Just, uh, but then I just started wondering, hey, wait, if I have the ability to just kind of create, like, uh, endless amounts of gachapons, then why not just, like, uh, create endless amounts of gold or something like that? You know, why not just cut out the figurine middleman? Inflation! <laughs> you start making your own money. Right, right. Because of all the smiles you bring to all the children's! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. So, you feel uh, dirty. <laughs> yeah. mm, turns yeah. out the Marines uh, take money laundering very, very, very seriously. Admiral, on your ass immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, that may be helpful depending on like if I uh, want that Admiral or not. Good luck. <laughs> At least two of them won't fuck around. <laughs> the third one, you might get lucky. He's blind. Mm -hmm. I think he makes up for it, but... Mm. Yeah. Like, I feel like I can do some, uh, like, uh, underworld shadow brokering to be all like, okay, I want you to get me this Marine's hat. Most people out of sheer fear wouldn't even try anything on them. <laughs> because at least one of them would kill them on the spot if they thought there was anything going on. Hmm. Like, oh, yo, you might be doing shady dealings under the table, huh? Okay, die. <laughs> dude, ah. li dude literally tried to kill a man for trying to run away from a war. Oh, okay, uh, like, that reminds We are near that time, so allow me to at least uh, finish up with, like, these aspects about the, uh, you know, the gacha pond. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, like, uh, one thing uh, I can do is that uh, I can just, like, uh, let's say I created a duplicate of something. I can break it back down into a cloud and put it into one of the gacha pond capsules that I made. And I can break something else back down into a, a cloud and put it into the other side. Combine them together, shake them up, and I can get, like, a combo out of them in a particular fashion. So, you know, I can mix and match parts, more or less. I would assume this would degrade quality, possibly. Nope. Like, if you try to mix Luffy and Nami, you're not... Or if you try to mix, like, Bartholomew Kuma with Whitebeard, you're not going to get, like, a perfect, like, papa shaking the world guy. <laughs> well, I probably would. But, like, that would also depend on the coins I had. Because you gotta remember, the gacha pawns are dependent on, like, uh, the quality of the coins that are used. Wait, no. It should also rely on chance. Why? Because gacha pawns are all about fucking chance. Hmm. They're literally all about getting chance. So I'd be like, yo, you could shake... If you had, like, a gold coin of Kuma and a gold coin of Whitebeard and you combine them together, there's the possibility. If they're gold, it's a way higher chance, but still not perfect, that you'll get the perfect combination of a glorious bear man with a giant mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Who's taller than any other man and shakes the world with his paw pads. Hmm. I love it. Well. It's a gotcha pond, man. You gotta be. Why not go? I swear I just saw my stat change. <laughs> I, I, oh, yeah. I think I might be hallucinating. I swear I saw my attack stat go up or down mm. while I was spinning. I don't know. Oh, okay. I think it was the, my spike coming around the corner. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, well, I'll take it under consideration. It just, it seems like undue complications and a lot of other characters with their powers don't have undue complications. But before getting into that, like, uh, one thing that most certainly cannot be duplicated, no matter how hard I try, are devil fruits. Ah, you mean the straight-up fruits. Yeah, I cannot straight-up duplicate a devil fruit. I mean, I can duplicate a person with a devil fruit with a gold coin. Well, I know one but... devil fruit you can definitely duplicate. What's that? The artificial devil fruits that were created. Oh, okay, yeah, those I can duplicate, but uh, I'm not talking about artificial. I'm talking about, like, uh, you know, the legit normal ones that are out there. <laughs> yeah, because I figured one fun thing would be to put out, like, an experimentation log. It's like, okay, so what can the fruit do and what can it not do and stuff like that? Ships. Entire fucking ships. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I could totally gotcha upon entire ships. Mm -hmm. Sea Kings. Just, I'm a horrible person. I just got to throw more monsters <laughs> into this ocean. 
As if things were bad. Do, do they have a time? Well, you know, we don't have enough time to go into that. Right, right. We'll have to save that for the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>